I also say five, six, seven, eight, five, four. Seven. <laughs> You're such a dancer! Hi guys! It's Nava Rose and I have a special guest! <laughs> it's a Wendy! Yeah, Hello. I am with Wendy, yes. aka with Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are doing a challenge. Surprise, surprise! Our one item that we are DIYing today is from Ikea! <laughs> we went to Ikea and mm -hmm. we picked one item, which is a throw blanket. And the whole purpose of this challenge is to DIY something from that throw blanket. We both have different styles. Obviously, you're very minimalist and very like nice, clean. <laughs> nice. Very nice too. <laughs> but my style is very crazy. I'm so curious what adjective you're going to use. <laughs> We're gonna show each tutorial on each of our channels, so definitely check out Wendy's channel to find her tutorial, and then obviously just keep watching this video to uh, see what I'm gonna make. Who should go first? Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! In the spirit of being Canadian, where there's legit winter, <laughs> I'm going to be making something that is thick, fuzzy, from the Ophelia. Let's go Ophelia. Can't even hug it for that long because I'm gonna heat up. Girl, this is LA. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. It's like 80 degrees, probably 90. Hot weather and <laughs> Okay, Alrighty. so mine is, ta -da! It's like a couch, kind of. <laughs> this has like a that like business tweedish feel. Yes, business tweed. This is capaster. Capaster. So I'm gonna do something totally opposite from Wendy's. I'm gonna do oh, yeah. something very LA. Hot weather friendly. Hot weather friendly. Let's uh, jump into this video. Yes. So we actually filmed this whole thing in my living room and Wendy was there and luckily I had a second sewing machine so it was like a little sewing party. After I opened the blanket I realized that there was a pattern and I'm not really sure at the time if I was happy about it or not. It looked like zebra print but it kind of ended up looking like an amoeba or a disease to me. But yeah I decided to just work with it. So my game plan was to make a two piece set out of this blanket because you know that's just all I ever do on this channel. Oh and you know your girl also loves slip. So I wanted to do a slit action with the edge So I grabbed a skirt that I was you know happy with the fit and everything and I used this as a guide I wanted to work with the little fringes that the blanket gave me So I aligned the skirt so that the fringes would be at the very bottom So as you guys can see I folded the blanket I made my little side slit and then I placed the skirt reference on where exactly I wanted the slit to be then from there I just roughly cut out a shape. It's not really a shape It's more of like a square right now But then in this next clip you guys will see that I fixed the waist a little I took it in and I tapered it just to make it fit better at my waist so next I'm just pinning along like above the top of the slit and then I turned it inside out matched up the edges and I pinned along that to make my side seam then from there I just sewed everything down so I'm sewing that side seam with a straight stitch and then I added a top stitch above the area where the slit is to make my top, I used my IMG top as a guide, so I roughly cut out the shape and my plan was to make a one shoulder top. So the way I did that was I cut out one side and then from the other armpit, I made a new neckline going up to the shoulder. I sewed the side seams together and then I showed that, I mean I sewed that one shoulder seam at the very top. Before moving on, I decided to try on everything just to check the fit, you know, because I just don't know how this fabric works. But next, I didn't actually film this part, I totally forgot to. So what I did was I folded over the top edge of the skirt and then I sewed about an inch and a half down just to make a tunnel for my elastic. And if you guys are familiar with my tutorials, then you guys probably know what's gonna come next. What I did was I cut a piece of elastic that fits my waist, then I threaded it through the tunnel that I just made, and once it came out of the other side, I sewed both ends of the elastic together and then I I stuffed it back into the tunnel and then from there I closed up the stitch to complete it. Now the top was super super cropped so to fix that I wanted to add a thick waistband to the bottom. I folded the waistband in half long ways and then I matched up the raw edge to the bottom edge of the top and then from there I sewed a straight stitch to hold them all together. After that I added elastic the same way I did for the skirt. Once I was finished with that I folded the two ends inside and then I stitched them together. This is like really big, so I might do this and then probably tighten this. 
So I'm gonna attempt to make a beret. We're gonna try it out. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but try our best here. <laughs> okay, I literally have no idea how to make berets, so this tutorial was a complete guess for me. All I did was cut out two circles using my hat as a guide, then I folded one of the circles into fours and I cut out the inside for my head to fit through, and this ended up being my beret band. I also made that band a little smaller than the large circle because I don't know I just felt at the time that's what I was supposed to do. I should really learn how to make berets. I'm using this edge, the edge of the throw blanket. I'm gonna use it as a band for my beret or we're gonna attempt to. Hopefully it fits my head. Ow. It fits! <laughs> does it look like a beret? Yes! It does. Oh. It doesn't really stay on my head though. And after many attempts of trying to make this braid look cute, I finally finished my look. Read my eyes, do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way, it's the choices we make. We give and take, and I know you will keep trying. <laughs> enjoyed our little Ikea transformation. If you guys want to see how Wendy's turned out and want to see how she made this really cozy sweater, <laughs> go ahead, head to her channel, subscribe to her channel, but I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching this video, you guys are probably already subscribed to her because you guys obviously like sewing and DIY. But if you're not subscribed, give her a follow. She makes great DIYs. Honestly, if you guys are in cold weather, sometimes my tutorial is just art kindness. So. <laughs> hey, I'm here to give you the warm hug. Yeah, I'm here to give you the Fiery hug! Fiery hug! <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good night.